Praise the Lord. This is Apostle Betty Clay from Refuge House of God Deliverance Ministries in Charlotte, North Carolina. Before we get started, I'm going to ask you to invite some of your friends to share and to like us, uh, if you will. Today, we're back with another teachable moment, and we, it's coming out of Jeremiah, the 20th chapter, verses 7 through 9. And it reads as follows. O Lord, thou hast deceived me, and I was deceived. Thou art stronger than I, and hast prevailed. I am in derision daily. Everyone mocked me. For since I spake, I cried out. I cried violence and spoil, because the word of the Lord was made a reproach unto me, and a derision daily. Then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name. But his word was in mine heart, as a burning fire shut up in my bones. And I was weary with forbearing, and I could not stay. We just want to talk briefly today uh, from a, a subject or a phrase, as most of us know it, as never say never. Um, most of us is familiar with never say never, that phrase. But I just want today uh, to shine a little light on that, if you allow me to do so. In the text here, we have Jeremiah lamenting. He's expressing grief and regret, sorrows. He's fussy. He's complaining. And in today's terms, we would probably say he's in his feelings. And so, but we have to understand um, that Jeremiah is in his feelings or feeling some kind of way because he feels that God has deceived him. But here's, uh, here's the problem. Jeremiah is in a dilemma. The dilemma is he's twixt in between whether he wants to obey God or obey his own flesh. What we need to understand also that Jeremiah's ministry is not favorable nor popular. There's a lot of tension that comes with the position. And so in the text, we also see that Jeremiah speaks of a burning. Uh, the burning here that Jeremiah is expressing is not uncommon for those that's been called, compelled, and commissioned by God. The burning represents the impact that he's feeling or experiencing that's causing him now to have to deal with what he feels. Even though most things aren't based on feelings, there are some things that we have to deal with. We have to deal with what we feel on some things. And this is one of them. So in the dealing with his feelings, what he's doing is quitting in private but not in public. And so personally now, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with the quitting in, in private. I don't. As long as we're not acting out what we're talking about in private to ourselves, we're fine. I don't have a problem with that. But to be honest, some of us really know where Jeremiah is. Some of us knows what this looks like. Some of us know what this feels like. Even Paul. Paul says, he said, woe unto me if I preach not the gospel. Paul knows that it won't go well with him if he doesn't do what he's called to do. So Jeremiah here is caught in between the woe of God and the will of God. But saints of God, we can't lean to our own understanding, nor should we yield to temptation. But Jeremiah says in the text, mind you, he says, 
I ain't going to do it. I'll, I'm not going to make mention of him. I ain't talking about him no more. Not ever. Never. I'm not going to do it. But what blessed me is that I understand where Jeremiah is. He says, I'm not going to do it no more. But then when you look at the text, the very next word is but. Jeremiah has sense enough now to put a but in it. I do understand where Jeremiah is because I've had several never experiences. So much so till I asked the Lord, why do you keep calling me faithful even though I've been teary, I've been fussy, I wanted to throw in the towel, I've been embarrassed, and the Lord would always call me faithful. Well, I wanted to know why he called me faithful. Why you keep calling me faithful when I'm acting the way I'm acting? And the Lord said, you really want to know? I said, yeah, I want to know. Why? He says, because even though you fussed, you cried, you wanted to throw in the towel, he said, but you did it from the place of assignment. I'm telling y'all, the place of assignment represents the will of God. He said, even though you said what you said, you never moved from the place of assignment. You never got out of my will. God can work with us when we talking out of our mouths, but it's not really in our hearts. God can work with that when we do not get out of his will. Saints of God, T.D. Jakes used to say, put a butt in it. Jeremiah put a butt in it. And what butt represents, something else that T.D. Jakes said. He preached a message one year. Tell the devil I've changed my mind. And that's what butt represents. That on second thought, I've changed my mind. You have a right the Bible said we can be angry if we don't sin. Jeremiah was angry. He was upset. That's why he was fussing. Don't act like you ain't never been angry with God and upset with God. But it's not what you say per se. It's what's in your heart. And God still will work with us. He'll raise us up. He'll use us still to bring glory to himself. Jeremiah never stepped out of the will. He never did the act. He did not perform the act. He only said what he said out of his mouth. But I'm going to tell you something about the word but. The word but will save you. It will keep you from falling. It will save your soul. It will keep you in the will of God. Saints of God, I don't mind if you say never. As long as you give yourself time to say but. On second thought, I've changed my mind. God bless you. I hope you got something out of the teachable moment today. And I want to say, again, invite your friends, if you would, to like us, um, share this teachable moment with someone, and uh, encourage them to like us and um, share it with someone else. Uh, I believe, I believe that it will be a blessing to the hearer. Amen. Again, if you want to sow a seed, if you want to donate, um, give an offering, you can do so on our Cash App. And our Cash App is all lowercase ms, dollar sign, it's dollar sign ms, B is in boy, clay, C-L-A-Y, 
all lowercase dollar sign M S B C L A Y. Until the next time, be blessed. God bless you.